The lovely ladies of Dead or Alive returned in 2005 for Dead or Alive 4, an early release on the Xbox 360, boasting DOA-style gameplay with new phenomenal HD graphics and cutscenes showing what the characters do in between each game. Oddly enough, none of them are like nuclear physicists, teachers, or firefighters. They've spent their time stripping, dancing in front of the window in their underwear, turning into a fish, pondering while half-naked, you know. It's what they do to train to win. Turning into a fish. Hey, it worked in Splash. Uh-oh, here's the part where she gets sucked into an intake because she wasn't paying attention! Don't swim near intakes! Oh well, she'll be missed. Fortunately, there's many other fighters to choose from, including some new ones in this game. Dead or Alive 4 is similar to the previous entries in the series, like Dead or Alive 2 or Dead or Alive 3, except it's a lot harder. Your opponents will block just about everything that you throw at them. So, do you pull off the same two moves over and over again? Yeah, well, that won't work in this game. You need an arsenal of moves up your sleeves. Except most of these girls aren't wearing sleeves. There's no easy mode in this game. It's just straight-up difficult. And seriously, how does she stay in her costume? They've made countering a lot harder for you but apparently a lot easier for your opponents. So Dead or Alive 4 really does force you to learn a lot of different moves because it's not going to let you pull off the same move twice. But sometimes it just gets frustrating. It's like you can't beat your opponent no matter what you do, so you just try over and over and over again until you eventually win. And because of that, it feels like a less casual game than some of the previous installments. I still prefer Dead or Alive 2. But uh, there's nothing wrong with this one, you just really need to learn how to use the fighters. The animations and background visuals are stunning, as you can see. And this really rocks for an early 360 release. But somehow, all of that gets overshadowed when you get stuck in your opponent's combo and just can't get out. So it's not as much fun to just pick up and play this game, but it is far more challenging, so for those who take their fighting games seriously, Dead or Alive 4 is an excellent choice. These days it can be found as a Xbox 360 Platinum Hits title for a budget price. And this copy of the game was donated to the show by our friend Eric from Dallas, Texas. Someday they'll name a TV show after your city. Someday. Oh, they already did. Who killed JR? I think it was this chick, who I just couldn't defeat until I played her over and over and over and over again. And I don't feel like I really fought a good fight so much as I just eventually won. And, you know, that's the only problem I have with this game. While making my way through the storyline, I would rely on eventually catching the computer on an off day. In addition to the storylines where you unlock the lavish cutscenes, Dead or Alive 4 has the usual complement of survival modes, time attack, versus and Xbox Live multiplayer. There's also unlockable outfits and some unlockable characters as well. It's the writing that makes it special. No, it's not. Her breakdancing move is awesome. That's gotta be the best move in the game, hands down. Like the other games in this series, there are a nice variety of fighters to choose from, each with their own fighting style. So it doesn't feel like you have two or three characters who are all exactly the same and have identical uppercuts. <laughs> DOA 4 is a good spirited fighting game that forces you to learn character movements, strengths, combos, and defense. It's super affordable, it's easy to find, it's a game in the form of a question, it's dead or alive? Four.